Welcome to the Tennessee State Park Historic Dunbar Cave and Natural Area. Dunbar Cave State Park is a 110 acre historic park and natural area boasting something for everyone including historical, natural, archaeological and geological interests as well as walking trails and the tranquil Swan Lake for families, individuals and photographers alike. In 1931, the Dunbar Cave and Idaho Springs Corporation was formed by Clarksville businessmen who developed the cave into a resort known as the Show Place of the South. An earthen dam was built across the valley near the cave entrance to form a 15-acre lake fed by a stream from within the cave. The cold, clear stream underneath Dunbar Cave can still be heard and seen from below the deck or dance floor behind the iconic arches. Prior to the new lake being formed, a small swimming pool of earlier days was in the area of the new lake. The lake was stocked with fish and boats were available for rent. The bridge crossed the lake near the cave entrance for access to the opposite side for nature hikes and a new modern concrete swimming pool with three diving boards and a bathhouse were built. Tennis courts and other recreational facilities and restrooms were also constructed. Today, Dunbar Cave State Park still encompasses the tranquil 15-acre Swan Lake with 360-degree walk-around views and a newly constructed berm and walking path stretching almost completely across the lake and giving guests a new view of Dunbar Cave. While boating and fishing is no longer offered on Swan Lake, it offers guests the peace and tranquility few lakes can boast during summer months. As a natural area, the park offers a variety of interpretive and nature programs available year-round for all ages and interests. Whether one is interested in biology, geology, bats, birds, or wildflowers, there is something for everyone at Dunbar Cave State Park. The Dunbar Cave State Natural Area currently offers three park trails with varying elevations and degrees of difficulty which all begin and end at the Nature Center. Currently, portions of the recovery trail are being moved in order to preserve the land due to erosion, but promises to offer hikers and runners the same challenges as before. Depending on what you are looking for, the recovery trail is currently 1.9 miles, the short loop is 1.1 miles, and the lake trail is a level 0.67 miles from start to finish. The relaxing swimming pool and iconic bathhouse as seen in the early years, with a new 21st century perspective of the nature center and pool grounds from above. Construction of the bathhouse and swimming pool were completed in the early 1930s. However, the pool and bathhouse falling in disrepair after 30 years of serving guests from near and far, the pool was closed in 1967. Originally, one would enter the bathhouse from the street side of the building into the lobby area with male and female dressing rooms and showers on either side. With the purchase of the land by the state of Tennessee in 1973, the pool was eventually filled in and the bathhouse converted to a nature center, ranger station, and museum. There is currently construction underway for the new gift shop, which will be located just inside off of the main entrance, and the old pool area will one day become a butterfly sanctuary. While the history of the pool and bathhouse can only be seen in pictures and read about the day, this iconic building still holds the architecture of the day. One only needs to stop and envision times past when the structure was in its glory, giving guests a much needed break from the summer heat. Dunbar Cave is one of the largest caves in Montgomery County and can boast being the 280th largest cave complex in the world, stretching almost 8.1 miles inward with a year-round temperature of 58 degrees. This may be your first visit or you may have walked this path many times before. Take time to ponder and dare to envision the many who so long ago have walked this path before you. Men, women and children, families, politicians, and famous musicians all walked this path for a reason for more than 123 years. At the end of the path, just as it sits in its early days, you will start to see a massive rock wall arching within the cliffs for 75 feet or more to the opening of the cave used by so many before for thousands of years. Imagine for a moment those who walked this path so long ago, excited to hear Roy Acuff or a famous band, to attend a social or a dance, or simply cool off during a hot summer day at the lake. 
You walk and stand where so many in history have walked and stood before you. Embrace the moment. Welcome to Dunbar Cave. According to the Nashville Banner, April 27, 1948, Roy Acuff, a famed fiddle player and country music legend, purchased the area for $150,000, building the 18-hole golf course still seen across the lake today, and using the cave area for hosting musical entertainment shows, hosting big bands such as Tommy Dorsey and Benny Goodman on the Saturday night radio dance broadcast from the site. With a decline in popularity in the 1950s due to the innovation of the indoor air conditioner and the hotel burning down in 1950, the resort was never reopened. The cave, however, remained open and operated by McKay King until 1971 with the purchase of the Dunbar Cave by the state in 1973. Take a minute to step into the concession stand and ponder the errors of concession workers serving the customers in the proper attire of the day. Many times, a catering service was provided for banquets and bridge parties. Whether catering to customers or serving sodas, shaved ice, or possibly a souvenir trinket of the day, take in and enjoy the moment as history speaks to you. The entrance to Dunbar Cave was inhabited by local prehistoric people for thousands of years before settlers arrived, dating back to the Paleo-Indian time from 10,000 BC to 8,000 BC, based on artifacts found within the cave, which tell a story dating to the Archaic time, which was from 8,000 BC to 1,000 BC. The last known use of the cave by the Mississippian area Native Americans dates from 800 AD through 1550 AD for ceremonial purposes. Original claim by Thomas Dunbar in 1784, the cave and land changed owners in 1792 and was used during the Mexican-American War for the mining of saltpeter used in the making of gunpowder. During the Civil War, the Confederates used the cave to conceal horses and troops from the Union Army. Local residents also used the cave to hide their livestock and other items from Union troops. Today, as in the past, for almost 100 years, cave tours are offered May through August. No matter which trail is taken, you will find yourself walking through the historic archways on your trek. Take a moment to stop and listen as the water flows underneath you, as it has since the beginning, and the many who have stood and reflected while listening and gazing at the peacefulness of Swan Lake. Today, continuous and careful planning by the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation through its Spark Rangers is ensuring the water quality of the lake and natural conservation of the area remains intact for future generations of visitors. In-depth histories of the cave and resort can be found online at the reference websites listed in the credits.